Susan Bicewitz put out a press release today and she asked you to, speaking of just campaign finance, um, she asked you to give back uh, the contributions you've received from J.P. Morgan Chase's PAC. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you would consider or? I haven't seen her, uh, her, her press release. So, um, you know, I think uh, you know, the difference between Susan Bicewitz and I in this election is that Susan's got a plan on her website and um, got a record. Uh, and when it comes to changing the way that Wall Street does business, uh, I'm proud of my record. I'm proud of the fact that uh, Congress finally stood up to Wall Street and passed a reform bill that they hate, that they want to repeal, but is in the process of changing the rules, uh, making sure that uh, deposits aren't sent on to the Wall Street casino, making sure that uh, the only kind of mortgages in this economy are responsible mortgages, making sure that any bank that gets in trouble gets wound down rather than bailed out. So uh, I'm proud of what I've done and what I'm doing when it comes to Wall Street reform. And uh, I think the contrast in this race is not going to be uh, where our donations come from. Uh, I think that uh, you know, if you look at the records, Susan Bicewitz has probably taken as much, if not more, money um, from the financial sector than I have. Um, the difference is going to be uh, what her record has been and what my record is. So is that I a no? Mean, I mean, I, I've, this is the first I've, you know, I've, I've heard of it. So, um, you know, I'll have to look at what she's, what she's saying. Okay. I'd like to go back to that for a second. Um, have you or anybody from within the media asked Susan, point blank, if you're so concerned about public financing, why in your failed effort to run for attorney general did you choose not to participate in a public financing system. I mean, the hypocrisy behind that just is amazing um, to me that she can go out there and try to attack somebody with a track record like Chris Murphy and then you know, not be asked that type of a question point blank. And there are two people standing here, and as I said before, you know, we are most proud of that accomplishment out of all of our greatest accomplishments. And the two guys standing here to my left were both instrumental within that. But I am going to elevate the fact that if it wasn't, I think you'll even agree, Donovan in the role of majority leader to push and force people back in the room, we wouldn't have the best system in the country. So this is something that we take really almost personally when people start playing games around campaign finance reform and about where people were in terms of limiting the role of special interest money and have done such such hypocritical things as saying, this week I'm going to decide to run for this office, I'm not going to participate in the program. I, I've never heard a good explanation of that. As a matter of fact, at that time I even emailed her and said, Tell me that's not true, and I have never heard back from her still to this day. 